Exactly. And what we're trying to do is say, you know, uh, I believe that our stance is more biblically sound than either party. You, you take the, the good out of both and both have valid points. But if I uh, say that abortion is wrong, that does not necessarily tie me into saying that tax cuts are the way to go. If I feel that uh, homosexual marriage is not the way to go, that does not tie me into saying that we should continue to fund our military the way that we're funding it. Because basically what we're doing is we're using guns, uh, buying guns instead of putting food in people's mouths. We're, 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 we're turning over more and more uh, control to the military. There's less oversight um, and, and there's less accountability uh, with that. And there are billions and billions of dollars that... You know, the Republicans are screaming about all these cuts, but yet none of them will go and touch the biggest piece of the pie, or one of the largest pieces of the pie. I'm not going to say it's the largest, but it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's close to the largest, and that's our military. And we need to stay out of other people's affairs. We really do. And that's, I guess, a part of the libertarian part to this. We need to keep our nose out of other countries' business. And let them run things the way they do. But we also need to make sure that if we're going to be on, on God's side, we need to be consistently right with what the Bible says and how we conduct ourselves and how we uh, deal with other nations as well. Because if we don't deal with nations on a biblical basis, we set ourselves up for God's judgment. And right now, we look like we're square in it. I was talking to David about what happened to Joplin. And our heart, my heart goes out to that city. When I saw what happened, I, I cried. I was like, Lord, why did this happen here? Those are salty earth people. I haven't gotten an answer from God. But I know that, that weather patterns, that earthquakes, we had an earthquake here in Virginia uh, not too long ago. I think that was a warning shot. Things can happen anywhere. And the whole country is at risk if we don't pull together and really do what we say we are. One nation under God, not under Allah, but under Jesus Christ. Yeah, and yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, I believe that, you know, I'm a very strong Christian, and I believe that, you know, the Christian way is the best way. And at the very least, you know, let's just say, what if I'm wrong? Then at least that is a cornerstone of our culture that, that creates social solidarity. And, you know, we do need a sense of, you know, where to draw the line on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, also I was, I was talking about you know, um, some stuff earlier. Um, I believe that the U.S. Constitution is perfect as far as you know, you have freedom of religion, you have freedom of speech, you know, you have freedom of assembly, and those are all areas that you can never ever cross. Right. Now, as far as like us being, you know, Christian Democratic Party and how that ties in with, you know, the separation of church and state, we basically believe in freedom of religion rather than freedom from religion, which basically means that everybody can just be as open about what they believe in as they want to be. Um, you can't force anybody to, to believe anything, right. but, you know, we, we are definitely going to be very informed of our moral decisions from what we believe in. Absolutely, and you, the thing that we cannot do in this society is try to remove or extract God from the society. Uh, there's, a, there's a scripture uh, in... Uh, in Proverbs, um, the fifth chapter says, Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways and he shall direct your path. If we decide as a nation that we're going to extract God from it and not acknowledge him, we're going to stumble. We're going to fall. We're going to be in a place that we're vulnerable to our enemies because we 
allow God to remove his protection from him because we're trying to extract him out of our society. Um, so we cannot allow the Lord to be extracted from the society. Um, many people have a problem with prayer in school. I, I really don't have a problem with it. I've talked to teachers, uh, people that were in um, the school system um, before prayer was in school and they stayed in afterwards and they said that was really the beginning of the end because children were not exposed to anything about the Lord at all. At least when prayer was in school there was an acknowledgement of the Lord and now there is no acknowledgement of God in the schools and any even when you try to pray a prayer protection before a football game the ACLU is there uh, knocking on the door trying to stop that from occurring. We do not believe in uh, trying the extraction of God from society. As a matter of fact, we need more of Him infused in our society, but in a, in a, in a proper biblical framework, in a way in which the truth it, about the Lord, the truth about what God wants and the way He wants us to live is reflected in the society that we have. So this is uh, our first video on uh, the Christian Democrat Party. We're going to hope to post more and we look forward to hearing from you on the website. Thank you. Oh, give the website. Oh, our website. It is um, CDP United States, www. And then it's dot webs dot net. I mean dot com. Um, it might change to CDP United States. You know, without the webs at the end soon. But right now, you know, it's still a free site. So, but soon, you know, maybe we'll have enough to do that. All right. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, and you know, God bless. God bless you.